So y'all were wondering how the trees fared after that 40 mile an hour gust flowing through. Oh boy, there's one on a car. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. That's not good for the car. Poor, that's the car Poor up lady. to you. Got, that, ooh, it's a new car too. Oh, dang. Oh yeah. Right in. That's bad. Uh, I never uh, messed with it. And this was a bifurcated maple, and we are very aware of issues with bifurcated trees. As the trees grow on both sides, they push, and then you get a 40 mile an hour wind come through with a tropical storm or anything, and these trees do not hold up, unfortunately. So this was probably the biggest maple tree I've ever seen. Uh, probably 35, 40 inches in diameter, and it's tragic to see something like this happen to it. Rip that sucker open like a dang tin can. Look at that, man. That's straight rip the whole entire frame. And this right here is embedded into the floor, stuck in the floor like wedge. Go ahead, pull it out. We're gonna pull it out with a bobcat. It's the only way we can get it. There it goes. Look at that, that guy's so precise. Good job. Pull the remainder of the trunk of tree out. It's all right, come on, you need to bring it out. There it is, okay, so that's what we're left with. One big field tree. Acerubrum, you said? Acerubrum. Red maple. It's just, it's just, it's not subu, it's rubrum.